Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can keep image and text side by side in HTML and CSS. So this is really simple and I have an image over here, you can see and first of all, let's go and get the image. So for it, we need to write the image tag and in the source, we need to mention the image name, which is image on dot jpg. And after that, we're going to write some random text here. So here we are going to say some random text, then save it. And if we now open it in the browser, there you can see we have the image and we have the text. Let's go and fix the image size and also change their position as well. So for it, let's go back to the code. And here in the image source, we are going to mention a class. And in this class, let's the class name will be image underscore dg. So we'll now go to the head section. In the head section, I'll say here style. In this style, we're going to mention this class name, which is image underscore dg. So since this is a class, we need to give a dot here, then that class name to second bracket. Let's say the width for the image will be 30%. And uh, okay, let me just show you. If we now save it, then refresh here. There you can see image is over here and the text is here. So what we want is that we want the image to be on the right side and the text to be on the left side. So for it, what we are going to do is really simple. We are just going to say here float right for the image. So if we just say here float right for the image, then the image will be on the right side. So if we now refresh here, there you can see image is on the right side and the text is on the left side. But there is still some code left. So for it, what we need to do is here we are going to keep the image and the p tag inside a div. So we are going to say here div, and this div will end after the p tag. Here you can see the p tag. After the p tag, we are going to give the div. So for this div, we are going to mention a class. Let's the class name will be let's say div underscore dg design. Again, we're going to write some CSS for this. So here we're going to say dot div underscore dg, then the second bracket. First of all, what we do is that here, here you can see our image and text is taking the full width of our skin. So what we do is that we're going to make our text and image to take the 70% width of our skin. So for it, we're just going to say here width it will be 70 percent if we now save it refresh and there you can see it took 70 percent of the skin and that is 30 percent left so right now there you can see the image and text is almost close together so we're going to add some padding for the image and let's also have a background color for image and text so for it here in this div underscore design we're going to say background color it will be sky blue let's say and here for the image we're going to add a padding so we say let's say padding will be 20 bx save then if we now refresh here there is some padding between the image and the text but the color only contain the text not the image so in order to fix that what we need to do is here we put this div underscore dg we are going to mention another div here and this div will end after this div okay so let me just uh, write it like this way and uh, like this so this team pinned it over here and here for this team we are going to say here glass First of all, using this div, we are going to make it in the center. So we are going to say here, let's say center underscore design. And in the style, we are going to say dot center underscore dg. Then to second bracket, we are going to say here display. It will be flex. Then justify content. It will be center. Then align items. It will be center so what this three line will do is that it will make our text and image everything in the center so whatever we have inside this center underscore div 
everything will be in the center of our skin. So right now, if we refresh, there you can see everything is in the center and the background color is also fixed as well. So right now, over here, you can see that the text is too close with the background color. So we can fix it. So we can just say here, the P tag, here you can see of the P tag. So I'm just going to say here, the P tag, since this is a tag, we do not need to give any dot. So I'm just going to say here, padding, it will be, let's say 15 PX. Let's also say here font size, it will be 18 PX. If we now save, then if we refresh, there you can see. So if you want some gap over here, what you can do is we can use margin top. So here in the center underscore design, we can say here margin top, let's say it will be 20 PX. And let's also add some padding, let's say padding will be 15 PX. If we now refresh here, there you can see there is some gap over here and there is also some padding. So let me just show you one more thing. If we just copy this, the whole div, then paste it, let's say two times, all and two, save, then refresh, there you can see. So everything is in the center and everything is perfect each time. So this is how you can keep image and text side by side in HTML with a few line of CSS code. I hope this tutorial was useful to you. If you have any question or any suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.